This is a yoga video for back pain for a good friend of mine, so dedicate this to you, Christy. Um, I have to talk for this one a lot, so I'm not going to have any music. You can add your own music later, and I hope this helps. Um, good luck. Here we go. So you're going to start with your own, you know, breathing, breathing in through the nose and out your mouth. Close your eyes and just relax. I'm going to always start off every practice with about five minutes of that. So we're going to roll forward onto the hands and the knees, making sure that your knees are stacked right underneath your hips and that the wrist creases are right underneath the elbow and the shoulders. Going into what's called cat-cow. As you inhale and breathe in, you're going to turn your tailbone up and your head up. And then as you exhale, round your shoulders, drop your head, look at your belly button. Tailbone down. Inhale, look up at the sky, ceiling, whatever. And then exhale, down. One more time, inhale, look up. And exhale, down. Staying with that deep breath in through the nose and out the nose. Come to that neutral spine position. And we're going to make a C shape with the body. As you inhale, you're going to pull the right ear towards the right hip. And exhale, back to the center. Inhale, left ear, left hip. And exhale, to the center. One more time, each side. Inhale. Exhale. And to the left, inhale. And exhale. Good. Now lower down onto your forearms. Keeping the hips high, we're going to go into what is called puppy pose. And just slide your fingertips forward, melting your heart to the floor. If you can, bring your forehead to the floor. Take five breaths here. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. And last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Coming up, we're going to take the hands underneath the shoulders again. Curl your toes behind you and lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. So same pose, just straighten the arms and the legs. Release by nodding your head. Yes, yes. Hello. Taking the tension out of the neck and then let your head just rest between the elbows. Come into plank pose, so just dropping your hips into that push up. Bend your elbows nice and slow, lower down everything at the same time, coming all the way down to the ground. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. Don't let the elbows open out to the side. You want to squeeze them in and roll them down. Lift your chest, lift your heart into a cobra pose, baby cobra. Want your belly button to stay on the floor and a nice arch in your back. Lower down. Press up and back into downward facing dog again. And then inhale, come back into plank. Exhale, lower down, and lift the heart. Lift a little bit higher this time. And then lower down. Press up and back, sitting right on top of your feet, and take a child's pose here. 
really stretching out that lower back. Forehead to the floor. If it's too much for you to have the arms extended, just bring them to your side. A lot um, of this practice is going to be seated, so you want to take your legs out, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, and then exhale, hinge from your hips. Don't round in the spine, stay straight to full forward. If this is as far as you can go, that is fine, be okay with that. Reach your fingers. Reach the arms up as you breathe in, and exhale, step the hands to the side. Now pull the right foot up. You can keep it on the inside of the knee, or if you're a little more fle flexible, cross it over. You're going to release the right hand right back behind you. Inhale, the left one up. Exhale, twist, bringing the elbow to the outside of the knee. Press your elbow into your knee. Get that resistance. Sit up tall, twist and look over your back shoulder. Breathe into your spine all the way up as you inhale, up the spine, and as you exhale, down the spine. Keep the straight leg activated by flexing your feet. Last breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come to the center, and exhale, release. Inhale, bring your other foot up, coming into whatever position is conducive for you. Sit up nice and tall, fingertips behind you. Inhale, reach the arm up, and exhale. Start to twist. Press your elbow into your knee. And look over that left shoulder. And now come to the center. So this next pose, I'll give you two different options. The first one is going to come into that butterfly seated position, holding onto your toes, sitting up nice and tall. You're going to inhale, lift the spine, exhale, fold forward, keeping your head in line with your spine. You should feel a deep stretch in your inner thighs. But by doing this, you're releasing tension out of the lower back. If that is not accessible for you, if you are just not that flexible at all, you're going to take one leg forward and one leg kind of behind you. So, sitting up nice and tall, press your leg into your, your foot into your leg. Inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Trying to keep your sitting bones on the mat, legs down flat, reach forward. This is harder for me. You can bring your hands to the mat or to the floor and rest your head. Nice and 
Second side. I have a new guest, Yogi, right here. This is Ella. Say hello, Ella. Thank you for joining us. Inhale, reach your arms up. No, you haven't raised your hands yet. Reach your arms up. Exhale, close your knees up. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale, brush yourself up, reach the arms up. Very good. So since she's here, I'm going to use her for this next exercise. Um, you want to get in the back corner? You're going to need a belt or a scarf or something, you know, you can use as like a strap. If you have a strap, that's great. Grab a strap. Now bring your arms by your sides. Stay nice and tall. We're going to start with the right leg. So you want to take the scarf strap, wrap it around your foot, and then hold on to both sides. Hold it up tighter. Good. Now you want to keep this leg as straight as possible. Lay your head down. You're going to hold both sides of the strap with the same, with the same, uh, with the same hand as the foot. The other arm is going to come out to the side, palms facing down. So you're going to inhale in through the nose, and then exhale, start to drop. She's really, really flexible, so don't think that you'll probably be able to get this far. You're going to release the leg. As far as you can. <laughs> Good. Turn your palm down. And then you want to look in the opposite direction of the leg that is out to the side. So you want to turn this hand. You want to look toward it. Take five breaths. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale out the nose. You want to try counting to five as you inhale. Inhale. Two, three. Five, six, even seven, or eight. Two more breaths. This leg is firm and active, straight. Okay, one more breath. Inhale. Very good. Now you're going to slowly pull that foot back to the center. And then again, hold it with both hands. So you're going to pull on the strap. Now, if you don't need a strap, which obviously she doesn't, um, let me show you. You're going to lay down, use your hands, interlace your fingers under your foot, and extend the leg. You can grab behind your hamstring as well if you don't have access to a strap. So for here, we are going to interlace our fingers on our hamstring. Other leg is out straight. So you're going to press your hamstring, the big muscle back here, into your hand as hard as you can. And then exhale, just release. Keep the leg up, but don't let it down. Release the muscle. Inhale, press. And as you're doing this, you want to push your belly button to your spine. Pressing the spine against the floor. Exhale, release. Inhale, push. And exhale, release. So, one more time. Inhale, push, 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 push. And release the hand out to the side. But keep that action of pushing that hamstring forward. And begin to lower the leg. Come halfway down and pause. Make sure that you're pushing the belly button down, spine to the floor. Yes, you feel this in your abdominals. You're supposed to. You tone the front, you tone the back. Tone the back, tone the front. So when you make the muscles stronger, they're going to be more stable and able to do what you need them to do and not cause as much pain. 
No, open it. Lower your foot down. Again, press through the heel. Lengthen your leg. From right before the floor, hover your foot over the floor. Feel if there's any resistance here. And if there is, just let it go. We're learning how to handle a situation that may be stressful or painful instead of reacting or responding to that feeling and then slowly release your leg all the way down. Now pause for just a second and notice how much longer that leg feels than the other one. So let's do the other side. Okay, pull your knee in, take your strap, Strap it around the foot. Hold on to both sides. This leg is out straight. Okay, now press it. The knee straight, extending the leg. And start to let that leg keep it straight. Let it drop to the side. As far as you can. Now, even if this is as far as you can go. Honor that and stay with it. She's very flexible. Very good. She's looking to the other side. So you're getting a nice twist in the spine without over over exerting yourself. One more breath, inhale. Slowly bring your foot back to the center. Nice. So we'll show how to do it with the strap um, for this side. You're gonna push your foot into the strap, hold it, and bring the strap right down underneath your hamstring. If you're like straight, you can lift straight and hold on to it close. So you're going to push your hamstring into the strap. Keep your head down. Push. There we go. And then release and relax. Exhale. Inhale, push. One more. Inhale, push. Keep that action. Let the strap go. Now you should be holding your leg up. <laughs> there you go. Hold it up. You gotta hold it up. Good. This should be working right here. Now drop it halfway. And stand through the heel. Push through the heel. Strengthen. Keep that leg straight. Hips down. Belly button to the floor. Covers above the ground. Press the belly down. And release and relax. Good. So now you're going to inhale. Pull your knees into your chest. Keep your arms out. Palms are down. Exhale. Drop the knees all the way over to the right side. And turn your head again and look in the left. The opposite direction. Good. If you're not feeling a good enough stretch, you can take this hand over here and just push it on your legs. So you're pushing your legs down, giving you a little more resistance. Deep breaths, Good. Now inhale, bring the knees to the center. Exhale, drop your knees all the way over and look in the other direction. Very good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, big full belly. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. Good. 
bringing your knees to the center. This is a very feel-good pose, and it's called Rock Like a Baby, because babies are happy. They're, you know, sweet and cute, and they know how to feel good. So you're going to bring your hands inside your knees and grab the inside of your foot. This hand grabs the inside of this foot. Now, as you're grabbing onto your feet, you want to take your legs up. There you go. She's got it. And rock side to side like a baby. Inhale and exhale. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Very good for opening up the lower back and the hips. And it, it's a really good pose. Keep pushing. You want to push your feet into your hands. I can't help you do this one. Grab the inside. Relax the upper body. Lift the feet and rock side to side. Two more breaths like that. That's it. See, sometimes we just need somebody to show us what to do. We can do it all on our own. Okay, one more breath. Inhale. Okay, roll yourself back up. You're going to turn back to the front. Take your feet out. Knees are still bent. Turn to the side for this one. You're going to cross your foot over your knee. And then you're going to take your right arm, hook it around the knee. Take the left arm, place it inside the arch of your foot, and interlace your fingers. So this is called baby cradle. This is a modified version of baby cradle. Now see from here, if you can lift your foot, and pull it into your chest. If you can, extend your leg. Yes, it's a very good stretch. Keep your foot on. You can rock side to side. Baby cradle, baby cradle. Lift me up, keep going down. Breathe into that hamstring. Release. Second side. So pulling your knees. Go into like that hamstring stretch position that everybody pretty much knows. And you're going to take the right arm, hook it into your foot, left arm, lift up, and pull. If you want, you can extend your leg. Inhale, lift, exhale, pull. One more breath in here. And exhale. Slowly release the pose. And for our final pose, it is legs to the wall pose. Um, I don't really have a wall, but I'll pretend. So you want to take a blanket if you have one. Hold it so it's just nice and square, giving you a little push. You're gonna, um, this will be my wall. So you're gonna place it underneath the low back. So you kind of have an arch going over the blanket. Wait, can you scoot over just one second? Blanket! Your shoulder blades, scoot over for one second. Your shoulder blades, stay right there. Should be on the floor. 
hands to your side. That should be a nice opening of the chest, of the lower back. And you're gonna prop your legs directly into a wall. So your lower glutes, or your upper glutes, none of your glutes should be even touching the wall. Press your legs into the wall. You can do this up against the wall, a headboard of your bed, um, anything really. I want you to stay here for at least five minutes. This is your savasana for the lower back pain. Um, if you'd like to take a, an extra savasana, please feel free to do so. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, part two is going to be for shoulder relief. So coming up soon. Namaste.